All right, I think I'm online. The, uh, let's see. Yes, okay. Making sure. Getting a little bit of background noise from the uh, video game. Let's see. Uh, style this off. So a couple of changes. Uh, a, I have I have a just chatting screen, and oh, oops, I did not move that properly. Oh well, I'll I'll worry about it later. You know what? Actually, no. I'll I'll, I'll move it now. Let's see. Nothing quite like doing doing all this stuff live. Slightly bigger. And down. And that ended up in the wrong place. You try to have a plan and it doesn't work out. So anyway, I wanted to start off the stream. Uh, first off, I wanted, uh, I don't think I did it last stream. I wanted, I've got a couple of new followers. I wanted to thank, thank you for the follow. Uh, 11 Things and Token Prime followed a couple of days ago. And then uh, also AO Craig followed a couple of days ago. I believe I rated him first. Uh, I believe he was a target of mine when I was raiding out from a one of the Detroit uh, play. Actually, I think it was from the last Detroit stream. So uh, thank you guys for the follow. Uh, glad to have you, you know, potentially following at least. And let's see, a couple of other things. I don't. It doesn't look like there's anybody in chat. A, I have a chatting screen now for when I'm just, since I'm starting to talk, I'm still moving things around a little bit. Chat box over on that side. Hey, I actually pointed the right direction for once too. Um, another thing, I was hanging out in Pierogi stream the other day and there was a lot of discussion about Discord and having a publicly, a publicly listed Discord link and how it's actually not really a good idea because you can get discord raids and people spamming like porn links and, and doing all kind of, all kinds of nasty stuff. And again, I'm about as small time of a streamer as you get, but still I thought, you know, that's probably a pretty good, a pretty good thing to do uh, or to fix is a, I removed the public discord link and now uh, stream elements will still, I think regularly recommend or, or say, hey, there's a Discord thing, but it won't actually post the link. What it'll instead do is tell you, hey, there is a the Discord. You can get the link now via a chat redeem. So, and you can also type in the Discord command. So, like Discord, and you're not seeing it, but it actually uh, stream helps doesn't. <laughs> Stream Elements doesn't post its own text in, in the uh, in the chat box that shows up on screen. But in Twitch chat, you'll see it says, yes, uh, get a link to it via Channel Redeem. It's 500 points, uh, which, you know, is for anyone who hangs around in the stream for even a little bit, that's, you know, not, not a, huge, a huge amount. And what should happen is when you redeem that, you should get a whisper uh, from my mix it up that uh, will give you a link. Uh, as soon as someone comes in here and wants to be a guinea pig, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try that out and make sure it actually works. Otherwise, I may have to actually have it, you know, post the link publicly uh, in chat, uh, which, which is also okay, I guess, too. It, it still prevents, you know, potential spammers, just not quite as much prevention. Anyway, uh, let's see. I was also going to talk about Detroit. Wait, what the hell? Oh, so <laughs> silver with a sub. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, silver. I appreciate it. Welcome in. And also, I just realized that uh, where I have this stuff. You couldn't actually see the overlay properly, so I apologize for uh, Kenneth Brawner being some somewhat obscured there. But anyway, well, welcome in. Th thanks for the sub. Boy, you're now second best in the family. Second? You should be first. Um, 
yeah, no one's redeemed first. You could be set. You could be first too if you want. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anyway, um, what am I going on about? I was gonna mention. Uh, I was gonna do a little bit of talk about uh, Detroit because uh, you know I, I had somewhat of a spectacular flame out ending on that one however i have been watching some other people play through it's still got getting some new players playing through and i'm watching them and i'm like oh yeah yeah okay they're making some of the same mistakes they're making some worse mistakes and i did look and see it's like yeah i could have had a much worse ending than what i got the key one that i learned is that I should have just stolen those bus tickets. If I had taken the bus tickets, I would have been fine on Kara's story. That's all I needed to do. And of course, Connor, well, Connor, I, I messed up the controls on that or the controller messed me up. I'm, I'm, I'm second guessing myself on that one. Anyway, uh, to today's stuff, The Last of Us Part 2. So I've only recently played The Last of Us uh, Part 1, not the remake, not the new remake, but just The Last of Us Remaster. I only played that for the first time a month or two ago, and I loved it. I, it's like, yeah, it, it, it's a great game. I just missed out on it, you know, all the years ago when it first came out. Some people straight off kill off all the characters. I did look and see, it's like, you know, I saw a link where it's like, what what's the worst possible ending? It's like, oh, well, you can get Kara and Alice killed, like on a highway, and then you can get Marcus. You can also get Hank to commit suicide. There's all, all this stuff you can do. And also there's an achievement you can get for killing Connor eight times in a single playthrough. And I've just followed a new guy last night who's doing a playthrough. And so far he has managed to kill Connor four times as opposed to my two, at least at the same point where he is in the game. So I'm, I'm quite eager to see, to see how he, his stuff goes. But uh, for a first playthrough, actually reflecting on it, I'm, overall fairly happy uh I, I am a little bummed over Kara, but i can accept it and i know the mistake i made you know I, I, i'm good but anyway what i'm doing today the last of us part two uh it's been on my again like part one it had been on my list for a while but of course i wanted to play part one first so i knew who these characters even were excited to see what you think of part two i'm not going to spoil anything obviously but i would say it's a lot different from part one Funny you say spoilers, because I have this shiny little button here, because I think that I have heard some spoilers um, just over the years, just through internet osmosis. So, A, I'm going to leave this alert on, and... If there's anyone who's like watches the VOD or in chat, you know, lurking in chat or whatever, who doesn't want to hear these potential spoilers, go ahead and just mute until until this sign goes away. Because I do kind of want to get out in the air what I think I've heard. So with that said, I'm gonna I'm gonna flash the thing a couple of times here. Okay. Spoiler time. Or at least again, potential spoiler time. This is what I've heard. A, number one, Joel gets killed. Now, and I don't know how far in, but I believe that that act ends up sending Ellie essentially on a murder rampage for the whole rest of the game. Uh, I don't know for sure. But the other thing that I have heard is, is that you don't just play as Ellie. I think you also play as someone on the other side like who maybe killed joel or something and also don't tell me if this is correct at all either because i want to kind of discover if this is correct at all but yeah i've heard that you kind of play like two two sides of the story at once and then you know how you feel about each character at the end of the story you know might change quite a bit from how you feel about them at the beginning of the story now, A, I don't know if any of that's true. Um, I suspect Joel dying, it, it honestly is a very likely thing, given how everything I've seen about this game is very Ellie-focused, it seems like. So I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, yeah, nor, nor should you. Uh, but 
that is my little bit of knowledge going into this, and I have no idea if it's accurate at all. So I'm going to see. And with that, I'm going to remove the spoiler tag so we can now chat safely about things. And I'm going to, I'm going to start at the game up here a little bit too. Oh, it actually helps. I need to switch to game mode. And I figure I've got about, you know, two and a half, maybe three hours to play today, so I don't usually play. <laughs> Welcome in, Dargus. Yeah, yeah, Sil Silver redeemed second, actually. Uh, first was available, but she redeemed second. Uh, I don't know why, but she's welcome to it. Finishing your cyberpunk and coming back to watch properly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was just doing a little intro on uh, what I think I've heard about The Last of Us Part 2. I put a big spoilers thing up so you can turn it off if you don't want. Also, after watching your VOD in Detroit, didn't Rose come to pack, pick up Kara at the edge of the river? I think Kara and Alice were both saved, at least Kara. Yeah, Kara is still alive. We don't know who is in that car, in that car, but the car was on the other side of the river. So I believe the car was on the Canadian side of the river. Uh, so yeah, Kara is still alive. You know, I, I did at least save her. What I have heard is that once you get to the river, there's no happy ending, uh, or that's about as happy as you get. You can either save Kara or you can save Alice. You, you can sacrifice Kara and end up saving Alice, or you just flat out get everybody killed, <laughs> you know? So of the options I had, eh, you know, I, this, this is me rationalizing it in my brain, is, is that if any of them had to live, A, it's, yes, it's very sad that Alice died. However, going forward, making a new life and being alone, as traumatic as an experience as it is for Kara, she will have an easier time negotiating, you know, negotiating, getting a new life started than Alice probably would. I mean, I know Alice is an android and, and all that stuff, but still, uh, it would be kind of pretty bad for Alice to have to pick up the pieces after that. So bad for both of them, but Kara's maybe a little better. Remember Rose saying, I'll meet you guys at the end of the river before they left? So I think it was Rose. Rose would have had bio components with her to hopefully save Alice. If so, it's all off screen and we don't know. However, uh, Silver, I, I will accept that as headcanon. So <laughs> thank you for the out. And I'm going to start up the game here. And Ellie is angry as hell. So let's see, text to, text speech, to speech, off, English, English, yeah. This is all fine, this is all fine. Um, this is all fine as far as, yeah, we're good. This is literally the first time I've launched the game, so I'm, I'm gonna have to be doing all of this. Uh, let's see. We're good. I do want subtitles on. Because that's helpful. Because sometimes I talk over them. I've noticed. Uh, this is all fine. Story. I don't know. Oh, you have different things. Okay, yeah. Just, just story, I think. Graphics are beautiful in this game, so close to real. Oh, so this is much close. Well, that actually stands to re when I don't know what year this one came out. Um, I know the first one originally had a port on PS3, which I heard wasn't all that great, or the PS3 could barely handle it. Um, oops, I'm picking the wrong things. Audio, no, audio. Auto television. I had some, okay, I, I had some issues at one point with audio in this game, and I think setting it to stereo, in the previous version, part one, I think setting it to stereo uh, fixed it. 
I don't know if I'll have the same experience there. Continue. Is there any okay there there is sound it's just very low story new game so i was thinking about this actually um i, I when i played the last of us part one it was i just played on normal just because it was my first time with the game i didn't know what the trolls were how difficult combat would be all, all that stuff and i did okay with it I went back and then I did I played the DLC, the Left Behind DLC. I played that on hard. And that was pretty good. It, it it was you know a little more challenging but also not too bad. And then I went back and I did an offline playthrough of part 1 on Survivor where that was definitely much harder. I still made it. I made it all the way. It was much harder. I feel like now I have this is actually another thing maybe not quite a spoiler thing i have heard that the combat the fighting the controls are a little snappier in this in this game than the previous one i feel kind of feel like starting on hard honestly um i'm gonna i'm gonna try this and see what happens no inversion no permit permadeath no I selected hard and okay so I, I can change I can change difficulty anytime if if this game is significantly more difficult than the first game I would say okay well you know what I'm I'm gonna go with it I mean it says if if I do have a rougher time I will uh, I'll I'll cheat I'll 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 dial it down I don't I don't want to but I have the option. Switch if it becomes impossible, yeah. Um, do I need to push a button? If I do it, oh, that's loading screen. Okay, got a loading icon. Also, let me know if audio levels are weird. Right now, I'm barely oh, getting it. Oh. I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity. starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the fireflies. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. They, they were going to try. They were going to try. Not a guarantee. The only catch. It would kill her. Sweet Jesus. Doctor! What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Oh, Tommy. Jesus Christ, Joe. Yeah, attempt, exactly. What do you do? I saved her. 
he he rampaged a little bit, you know. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I, I suspected her. this would come back in part I mean, two. I mean, I and she believed you? She didn't really seem to. I didn't say otherwise. <sighs> we should head back. Hey, welcome in, baby carrot. It's time for a little more apocalypse. And also, let me know if the uh, if the audio sync, like the dialogue, isn't matching up with the voices, because I have had that issue with the uh, capture card sometimes before. Oh, now it now it's gonna let me spin the camera. Okay. There's Tommy. And usually when the audio sync is off, I just need to restart the capture card. You know, it's not usually a huge deal. So yeah, this one, if I if anyone dies in this one, it I mean, sure it'll be you know, tragic from a storytelling perspective. But I won't feel quite so bad because it'll be a bit more scripted. Wow, it really does look good. Whereas in Detroit, you know, I had the option of saving. It's just I wasn't exactly sure the best way. This time, if people die, it's because I know, okay, they're supposed to die. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that. Okay, X. Yep. Watch as it gives me a choice. Right after I say that. Off to a heavy start. Yeah, well, you know, set the tone. We don't have a... A, a way to start similar to Sarah, where we at least get a little bit of, you know, kind of a light, light family time. The way we did with Sarah. Sorry, I have notifications off, otherwise I'm getting woken up most Oh no. I'm I'm not keeping track. <laughs> Baby Carrot, you're okay. You haven't missed too much, I just did a little bit of intro stuff and talked a little bit about, about some spoilers that I think I've heard, but I'm not entirely sure how accurate they are. But I wanted to record them anyway for the sake of posterity. Wow, is this Tommy's place? It's really grown out from that dam. Security's like, damn you, carrot. Damn the carrots. 
It's okay. But yeah, Come. we're uh, we Joel is apparently made it all the way back to Tommy, so that's quite a trek. About what we were talking about earlier. Can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later, Tom. <laughs> A uh, zombie one. Well, zombie, I suppose, isn't quite the right word. It's the infected one. Um, Joel and uh, presumably Ellie made it all the way back to Tommy's place where they had the dam in the, in the first one. And Joel just told Tommy what happened at the end of Last of Us Part 1, how he saved Ellie's life but also pre prevented the potential cure they might have been able to get off of her. So, Tommy seems also a little conflicted about that, Ellie? but also admits he probably would have done the same thing. Cordyceps fungal brain infection. Yeah. The infected one. They don't die and come back to life. They just kind of get taken over by, by head mushrooms. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Jesus. Just gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but. Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Wanna go get a pizza? Folks are. You know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. They found Good. a working lava Good. lamp. Tommy and I went out riding the other day and oh. he, uh... We'll come to that in, in a minute. <laughs> he told me a joke and I, I thought about you. It's, um... Oh, shoot, now I forgot it. Uh... Something about a clock. How do you? Joel, it's uh, it's pretty late, and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Just um, I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. Yeah, Silver. So we were talking about a progy stream yesterday, and I was like, you know, that's probably a good idea. I didn't that's... realize. I didn't realize Discord raids were a thing. Funny. A guitar. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. Question is, will he sing? He did confide in the first one that he originally wanted to be a singer. I'm trusting you. Oh, shit. Uh, L? Oh. Oh, shit. They really do seem distant. They're like. If I ever were to lose you, I surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Try and sometimes you'll succeed to make this pain of me. All my stolen missing parts 
have no need for anymore Cause I believe And I believe Cause I can see Our future days Days of you and me So gloomy and I'm in this bright white shirt. Well, that didn't suck. Take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You, you also need to teach her how to swim. Because that was an issue. So what do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're being really weird with each other. Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> Ellie, you love it. You know it. Yeah. Ellie's got a thing for puns. Good night, kid. So right off the bat, there's some unknown weirdness. Between them. Shit. Do we know how old she... Oh, she was, what, 14 in the first one? Fuck. So she's at least 18. Hey. Morning. Sorry, I... Totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. Although, quite a night after I left. We don't know how long they've been at Tommy's, I, I guess. She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina. 19. Okay. Oh. I thought this was. We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No, oh, she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't, I would never. Oh, fuck, this is hard. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. You're the worst. It's kind of fucked up you did that. Get your stuff together while we're late. Okay, I have controls now. Okay, first, uh,. Baby Carrie, so you d redeemed the Discord thing. What should have happened is you should have gotten a whisper with the link to the Discord. Did you actually get that or not? Because I've tried it on myself, but it won't whisper to me. So I don't know if it actually whispered to you successfully. If it didn't, I'll have to have it you know, post publicly. You did not get a whisper. Okay. Well, I will adjust that here. Quest Discord, turn off whisper, save. All right, and if you wouldn't mind trying it again, and I'll redeem you some points too for this. Good thing I'm here to test these things, yeah.
Yep, there it goes. It, it that's a public chat thing. That that works at least. Yeah, it's a bummer. I mean, it gives you the option to say, "Hey, whisper to this user," but you know, yeah, it it it, it yeah, silver. It posts it publicly in the chat, so it's not great. I'll I'll have to tune it a little bit uh, because I do want to get the whisper feature worked out. Yeah, the idea we were talking about in Pierogi stream. Apparently, you know, there's a risk of. With a publicly listed Discord, you you could get Discord raided, people posting like you know spamming porn and doing all kinds of stuff. And I was like, you know what? That's probably a good idea to have at least a little bit of a buffer protection. Um, so uh, it, I'll, I'll still need to you know fix it overall, but that's at least a start. So th thank you for the test. And also, uh, before I forget, let me go review requests. Let me give you a little bit of money back for that. Uh, let's see. Refund points. Okay. And actually, I'll give them both back to you. They're, they were all experiments. So thank you for, yes, thank you for being guinea pig. And, ah, water. <laughs> All right, with that, back to the game. Fine. Also, I apologize for Buttspot. I spammed him in my own chat to test chat on script. No, that's fine. Okay, I can't, I don't have a whole lot of buttons to push. So tired. Oh, hey, Ellie, there's a rabbit. Shoot it. Nope. So he's active already, but yeah. So Ellie's older, she's got her gun. Joel gave her a guitar, but it is nowhere to be seen. I do wonder why they were so weird at the beginning. I imagine a little bit of... At the very end of the first game, you know, there's a thing where Ellie doesn't, didn't quite trust that what Joel was telling her was the truth. I mean, she trusts Joel on the survival front for sure. I mean, he did, you know, get her all the way around. Oh, and her indestructible knife. Yes. Is Joel up? We got reports of him vented out north. We had sent him and Tommy out earlier this day. That sucks. Yeah. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. Mm -hmm. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. Maybe. Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. <sighs> she kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not-so-nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Well, she's a teenage girl. I mean, she's going to get pissed off at her adult authority figure. Closest thing to a parent she has. Where is she? The diner. Is this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me. Having a couple noodles, so I had to add veggies since hey, you're fussy. So we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. It's just I don't want you to think. Ellie, we're cool. So I guess Ellie was previously dating this guy, and then twenty-eight stab wounds. <laughs> Welcome in, mythical monkey. Thanks for the the attention-getting en entrance. Yeah, get a good scratch. Gonna finally see how uh, part two of the the mushroom infection story works. Wow, yeah, this really does kind of feel like Red Dead Three in a weird way, just with all the setting and how Western it all is.
Horse, the horse doesn't handle as well as it does in Red Dead, though, breakfast. honestly. No. Where's Maria? In the back. Excuse me. Ellie, there you are. Come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me, please. Big it. All right, we're in some for some words. Seth, Seth, come here. Hey. Uh, look, last night I was uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Words are hard. Well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. <laughs> they made of real bigots? They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. From the footage I've seen, like of other streamers that have been playing the part one remake, this does feel like graphically way, way closer to the part one remake. Which is pretty cool. Squirrel, when you squirrel go out, on the roof. Trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. There's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was gonna check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Oh. Dean has done it a bunch. Come here. I'll have the two of them take. Our little daycare. Well, that solves that. I can't get over how much they've built this place up. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? I mean, granted, we I, we didn't see everything in part one when we got to the dam, but I mean, they've they've got so, a proper town. Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria, guy really cares about you, and I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina, assignments. <clears throat> Just give me a minute. Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please. <sighs> Until I hear otherwise, I'm just gonna assume that Ellie oh, told one Dina. too many puns to Joel. Can I talk to you? Uh, about that kiss, um, it was kind of nothing. I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just I felt bad. Why? Because I, I started the whole thing, and I just sh I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. And no, you were drunk. It's fine. Well, still, I just I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. It just you know what I love about you. How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Oh, so it's on. Again, I am. I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. You asked for it. You better run, you little shit. Holy shit! Get to combat. This oh, is combat oh. training. Gotcha. We're on the board, suckers. Oh, okay. I see. Ow! Oh, damn! Arm on that kid! Oh, dang it! Fuck yeah! I, I mean, don't tell your mom. Oh, you like that? Oh, I'm coming for you, Tiny. Oh, suck it! Oh, hey. What are you doing throwing at me? 
Okay, yeah, that was bad. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, what a shot! Come on. Ah, in your face. X. Okay. Oh, you better hide. Might need to change the difficulty. How's it feel? This was too. This was too much. I'm dead. The dog. All right. All right. We actually have some work to do. Uh oh. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. All right. Hang on. Darv Dargus with a raid. Oh, hey, hey there, Dargus. Well, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, thank thank you for the raid. I am Ali the Kit. I oh, just call me Kiz. It's fine. Uh, any, any new viewers? Um, I Dargus. I I don't know if he was playing. I, oh no, Dargus, you were playing Cyberpunk today, right? Is that going good? Yeah, and yes, I do have a cat. I have three cats, in fact. Um, every now and then they make an appearance on camera. It's very rare because they don't get out, uh, out to my office very often. But yes, uh, I Dargus has also streamed a lot of guild. Oh, actually, hang on. I can do, I have, I have control, I have commands. I can do things. First off, let's, let's, do, let's give a shout out. Um, Guild Wars. Oh, look like Guild Wars farming. Oh no! Oh yes. What? Did you lose some enchantments? <laughs> Um, I also stream Guild Wars. Uh, that's actually how Dargus and I met. Is uh, we we both play Guild. Still PTSD from this farm. Uh, I play Guild War. I actually got my start as Guild Wars one streamer, and I still do stream it regularly on Sundays. However, I've started also branching out and playing variety games uh, any other time that I am available to stream. Usually, I'm just on weekends, but every now and then I get a little bit of time during the week, and. Uh, on variety variety days, I, I'm trying to go through a big backlog of games that I've had in my system. Uh, like, I missed out on the whole The Last of Us when it, when it first came out. I just played it for the first time a couple of months ago. And today is actually my first day playing uh, Part 2. So we'll see. Got rated earlier by an American streamer, so maybe English speakers came in. Okay. Well, you know, English, French... German, you know, whatever, you're, you're, you're welcome in. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, uh, just now started up a, a playthrough of part two because I have remained somewhat spoil, or I should say officially spoiler free. Uh, I have heard some things about this game and at the beginning of this, of this recording, I outlined some of the things that I've heard, but I don't know how true they are. So I kind of wanted to actually play the game and uh, and because I hang out in a number of chats where spoilers you know may accidentally come out. So I don't want I don't want to be spoiled by chats. I want to actually play through and see. Uh, I do know that this is a bit of a longer game than the first one though. So, but I did enjoy the first one very much. So, so carrots. I said whatever. I, 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 if I recall, I said English, French, German, whatever. Carrots count as whatever, baby. <laughs> I, I, I'm, all, I'm also very jokey teasy. So we shouldn't mention the end is lightsaber battle. Damn it, Dargus. He's going to need Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's, that's nice you assigned us to That's what the whole game is, is we're, we're bu building a lightsaber. So yes. Morning. Oh, what are we doing? 
So right now, at this point in the story, I don't know a whole lot about what's going on. We've... Thank you. Joel and Ellie, at the end of The Last of Us Part 1, apparently they've made their way all the way back to Tommy, uh, who had been setting up a settlement, you know, around a power uh, powered hydroelectric dam. And they've actually got a nice a nice little, you know, town going. And, uh, but there's, there's a weird distance between Ellie and Joel. They're, they're kind of talking and evading around each other a little bit. So we'll see what that's all about. Spoiler, you might encounter two familiars discovered in The Last of Us 1, a girl and a man. That is possible. We've also uh, run into Tommy. So three, actually no four, because we also run into Maria as well. I'm assuming there will be, you know, mushroom-headed, you know, undead, you know, dead guys. Undead, dead, whatever. Words are hard. Oops. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Too many spoilers. Come on. Hi. Apparently last night, Ellie... And this girl, Dina, caused a bit of a scene. I guess at the bar. Uh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. One for you. So I guess we're still kind of going through what is the tutorial zone. We just had a snow fight Open with snowball fight with some kids. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books. Clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. One bullet. Come back. Yes, make it count. Be smart about it. All right. Get going. You mentioned the one bullet thing. Actually, my my father has a favorite story of our granddad. I never I would never met my granddad, sadly. But uh, my granddad, farmer, you know hunter did all this stuff in his elderly years he got invited out to a, a essentially a hunting party you know hunting rabbits you know somewhere but they didn't have an extra gun all the only thing they had was a, a pistol a, a revolver you know six shots he was like oh that's fine you know he went out hunting came back with five five rabbits and currently apologized for wasting the sixth bullet Dad always loved that story. And now how apocryphal it is, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. Metric and... Stunt rabbits with a revolver. Surely there's no one else like that. No idea who she is. Was the rabbit named Bugs? No. Well, we don't know. I mean, we don't speak rabbit. So yeah, we're still meeting people. So I don't know who a lot of these people are. Even Jesse, that one guy that was leading us around. I don't know a whole lot about him. Apparently Ellie used to be dating him a while ago, but they'd, they'd broken up a little while ago, so I'm not sure. dreaming about was I talking you're doing your teeth grinding thing where have you been grab your gear I want to show you something what trust me
Come on. This way. Stick. It's a really cool stick. You know, you can wave it around, pretend it's a sword. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. Doing wandering around out here by yourself. Been restless. You too. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. You can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, I have heard about this. That in the, this game is you have crouch. You, all this in the dark. you can also go all the way down. Now come on. Unnecessary jump. We keep going like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird, you're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. <coughs> Ouch. <laughs> Can't all be <laughs> I'm in danger. I didn't mean to jump on that guy's butt. <laughs> but what is that? Oh well. You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. <laughs> hey, eyes on me. Abby, stop looking down. Okay, her name's Abby. When? We have to go back this way. His name's Owen. Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. Lights. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. Figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? Him. Yeah. We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. <laughs> well, then we make them. You hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince him, right? I don't have quite enough context yet. I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But 
not at any cost. Hey. Don't. Oh, hey, Shinobi. Welcome in. See you back at the lodge. How are you doing these days? I'm trying to play The Last of Us Part 2. It's mostly been cinematic stuff so far. Just met some new people. I'm not sure exactly what they want. Sounds like they want to get at somebody in town. I don't give a fuck. I'll do the whole thing on my own. The whole thing. I don't I still don't know what the whole thing is. But unlike Detroit, it's not give I keep since I played Detroit so recently, it's like I keep waiting for like little dialogue option choosy things to, to show up. It's like, nope, nope, nope. Not that kind of game. Just got a bunch of free Genesis games from work. Spent the afternoon opening them up and clean cake dust off them. They all work except one. Oh. Got them for free? Hang on. Okay, yeah, that's... Don't want to go down there. I mean, getting stuff for free and only having one not work, that's... Hopefully that'll change. As close as we get to Shin in the Twitch world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that whole thing, Shinobi. I assume you're... Your family's still trying to deal with the uh, the situation. Hopefully it'll change soon, but... We'll see. Oh, right. Run and jump. And miss. Oh yeah, thank, thank you Baby Carrot for the shout out. I don't know... Hang on. Okay, so if you can do shout outs, but it doesn't actually trigger the player, but if I do it, there we go, okay. I might have to make you a mod, baby carrot. There we go. I don't recognize what, which, which game is that there. Stop doing it. Work. Yes. What did we get? The sea incense. Okay. Yeah, I didn't recognize that one. Looked very oh Metroidvania. Minoria. It's like like a 2D version of Dark Souls of Bloodborne. Oh, okay. Play as a nun during the Crusades. Oh, that's a that's a little bit of a different. Oh, okay. Slip slip slidey stuff is is a thing. He got me pregnant. But yeah, Shinobi he plays a uh, a lot of like kind of retro games and does monster Monster Hunter stuff. He's done Guild Wars stuff. But he really likes. Collecting old, oh, you know, collecting and restoring like you know older console games and, and things. So, witches and demons and all kinds of weird nopes, as Baby Carrot would say. There's butches and the butts and all butts of weird nopes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Trying to remember what the controls were from The Last of Us. It's been a little while since I've, I mean, I didn't play The Last of Us too long ago, but having played Detroit in between, it, it mess, Detroit messes up your controls in general, so. Half gun. There's dead guys around here. Can't escape butt spot no matter where. Yep. He's here for you, Shinobi. That's a lot of them. Oh, 
Honestly, I keep forget, and I, I keep saying this, I keep forgetting that he's in stream because he tends to go pretty quiet. And then and then he'll just jump out of nowhere. And it's like, oh yeah, butt spot. I forgot about him. I actually had him turned off for a little while. Sorry, no call. Oh, nope, no problem. Oh, this is hold? Yeah. Although, every now and then, he'll latch on to somebody in chat. Like, uh, as an example, Mythical Monkey there for a long time. Anytime Mythical Monkey came in here, Butt Spot would just be on him. And, like, almost every line, yeah, he'd type. Oh. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Yes, I'm pressing the button. Here I am, just having a nice walk. Oh, shit, I hate these. Oh, well, that was a fucking fail. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I get my bearings again. Uh... Well, that was not great. Flashlight. No, I dodged that. I disagree. I dodged that. <sighs> Time of water streamer. Okay, yes. I need to remember, I'm playing on a slightly harder difficulty, even though this is the first time playing the game. I need to n try to not use bullets. Where? There. I hear another one. There he is. There we go. Okay, so melee fighting is a little bit more... There's a little bit more to it. Uh, my shoulder. Oh. Yep, health kit. That's the same. Tree on the right with a secret, is there? Yeah, it's the first time playing this game, so I don't know a whole lot. It's double tree. Actually, a lot of double trees around here. Whoa, shit. Wait, hang on. It just took it just took control of the camera a little bit. There's gonna be there's gonna be something more here. Is that a house down there? It is. Maybe I can get in that way. So yeah, I still don't really know who this girl is or what, you know, she seems to want somebody or something that's in the town where Joel and, and everybody is. Yeah, and I knew about the flashlight because I was accidentally clicking that.
Yes, I would like to get a comfort brick or bottle. If at all possible. Yeah, yeah, check the shelves. That's. I'm getting Last of Us brain back in. Which usually means sort of scouring, but you know what? Hang on, I'm gonna go crouch. I feel like there's gonna be somebody in here. Oh, there's something. Oh. Oh, penny pelted. Thank you for... Thank you for... Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, hang on. I need to see. Ten Cato coins. Oh, thank you, Shinobi. I need to... I swear, I set up, like... Uh... Not not emotes. What's what's the word? Uh, like little badges and things for cheers. It, they should be using custom icons, but they don't seem to be doing that. I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, I see. There's a way down there. I just want to check the room and make sure there's nothing else. There does not appear to be. Okay, go prone to go under. This is a bad idea, Abby. Yeah, it probably is, Abby, and I still don't really know. Oh, that was a miss. So I'm playing on hard difficulty for my first time out, rather than normal. Usually when I play a new game, I like to go normal. Still here, just lurking. Yeah, that's fine. Um, thanks for the lurk. I'm, uh... But when I play... Since I played Last of Us not too long ago, I kind of wanted to... Oh, hydrate. Thank you, Dargus. And posture check. Oh, baby carrot, Dargus. Dargus is doing your job here. Sit up straight. <laughs> and another hydra. Oh, good grief, Dargus. He is appreciated. I do need water, and also I need to turn on the air conditioner. So it's getting, I just realized it's getting warm. And there's a stretch. Okay. We're up. Uh, we stretch. Now you're ready to smash zombies. That, that's exactly my problem. Mm. Oh. Yeah, no wonder it's warm in here. Hang on. I just realized. I had my heater turned on. Well, the heater wasn't turned on. Oh, excuse me. That was really bad. The heater was turned on to try to heat the office to like 75 degrees or 74 degrees. You know, so it, it had automatically turned off hours ago, but it was still on, technically. So. House, another slide. Okay. It's gotta be close. Gotta be close. What's gotta be close? 74 sounds good to me. I usually put around 180 to cook stuff through. Oh wait. Squeeze through. Wait, can I squeeze? Oh yeah. Did I ever? I did not ever get a. 
that's right. I can... I can... I do have sonar vi vision. Welcome back. I'm still remembering stuff. Is there... I'd really like to get a brick or a bottle. It's funny, it's in Cy Cyberpunk and The Last of Us are both futuristic games, but different visions. Yeah. I'm not sure that I'd really want to live in either one of them, honestly. I mean, certainly not The Last of Us world. <laughs> the Last of Us world is, like, not so great. Have to go do a thing, stop by after stream if you can. Yeah. I'll see you around, Shinobi. Oh, are you doing a Discord, Discord movie night or, or a game night tonight? I'll, I'll see about it. I'm I'm going to be going for probably another hour and a half or so, and then I'll probably raid out. What's what's the game du jour tonight? Oops, wrong. Or we'll just see. Okay, got another bullet. Yeah, I don't know that I'll be able to join in for very long. We'll see. It's going to be like around my dinner dinner time, so we'll see. It's Monster Hunter, whatever else is interesting on Switch, maybe even Guild Wars. All right. That is just a miscellaneous pot. Here are some stairs. Uh, hang on. Are there more down here? Yep, yep, there's one. Stop moving. Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's luring me into a room with some others. Oh, shit. Um, okay. Did that really not wake up the other? Uh, I guess they're far enough away. Okay, I'll take it. I wanted to be all smooth and quiet, but Okay, that guy is aimed right at the door, so he's going to pounce on me right at the door. Nothing. Not good at two places at once. Baby Carrot, if you leave, I'll understand. It's okay. Honestly, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> That's how you do it. I thought he was going to... Uh, oh, more, more bullets. I thought no matter what, he was going to attack me before I could get a handle on him. I don't get voice bullied here. Uh, I can voice bully you. I mean, it doesn't really work. The, the voice travels only one direction on on. Are they still bullying you over in uh, over in his chat about that? Tell him to stop. Tell him I said so. Not that I carry any weight over there. Always. Sneak up on yeah, I I am I'm, I'm aware. Oh. Did he see me? The ragdoll is a breed of cat with a distinct ah, color yes. point coat and blue eyes. 
Its morphology is large and weighty, and it has a semi-long and silky soft coat. American breeder and baker developed ragdolls in the 1960s. They are best known for their docile, placid temperament and affectionate nature. The name ragdoll is derived from the tendency of individuals from the original breeding stock to go limp and relax when picked up. So that so that's working again. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if maybe because it, it routes it through a website, I wonder if maybe the website was having trouble the other day. Oh, there's another guy there. There's two of them though. Okay, that one's moving away. Now where'd the other guy go? Or he moved, I guess he moved too far away. Discord reward is clever, so I guess it's not as easy access for bots or trolls. That's that's pretty much the idea. Oh, sh you kidding me? I'm nervous about this one that's behind me, though. Some people also make a rules channel you have to accept before accessing the rest of the Discord. Oh, yeah, that, that would probably be a good thing. Right now, the rules are just kind of there. Um, might need to add one or two as well. Oh, yeah, I should reload. Yeah, so I have a full clip. Hey, you. I think you're the last one here, so... First, I keep my server Discord private. I just send a link to people individually. Yeah, uh, yeah. Baby Care tried out the redeem earlier, and I have a way to make it whisper. It's supposed to whisper to you, but the whisper wasn't actually working, so I still need to figure that out. It was kind of a big topic of discussion in Pierogi's channel the other day. It's like, you know, that's probably good. I mean, I'm about as small time as it gets, you know, streaming-wise. But still, I don't really want to be... Horse tracks. Where's the patrol? If I can... If I can put up a preventative measure, it's probably a good, a good idea. Setting, disable private messages. Maybe people have that activated. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I was testing it on myself, though, and I also wasn't getting personal messages, although I don't know if you can send personal messages to yourself either. So right now, when you request, when you do the channel report, then it, it pops it up in the channel, at least. I'll, I'll, I'll still tweak it. This way. Right behind you. Miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. Been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel. You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because. There isn't cat, much to talk cat. About. There's a cat. Yow. I just I, named I got cat. the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. 
No, I think she's a talented artist. I think it's just a person named Cat Dargus. Sorry. Well, that's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. You can tie Shimmer up here. Hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. Check the room, check the stuff. That's looking like some Colorado. Although, actually, no, Tommy. Tommy's area was more somewhere in Appalachia, wasn't it? What do you think of this view, huh? I mean, this feels like Colorado to me, you know, from when I lived there. Yeah, this route has its perks. Where we sign in? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. How far around can I go? Yeah, you're right. The whis the whisper thing might be a little tricky. Well, I think the main thing is that I don't have, I don't, I pulled the social link off right the front page, my front page, so Eugene. it's not there anymore. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Eugene, yeah, who's Eugene? Funny. Oh, yeah. Huh? <clears throat> Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp, 73. May we all make it to 73. Come on, come on up. Now my Guild Wars friend, Gecko is saying he needs to hear your Oh. Your torment has now spread to Guild Wars, huh? I mean... Baby Carrot, I've, I've offered before. I mean, I've got my old microphone that I used to use. I mean, it, it catches up. It catches a lot of ambient noise from the room, but it's yours if you want it. <laughs> Sign us in. What was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. Hang on. Nice. Parts, parts. More parts. I've got one I've had for ages. Okay. <laughs> Scavenge bong for parts. Oh, it's not even scavenge. It's hey, inspect. This bong was Eugene's. Huh? It's mine. He gave it to me. Oh, it's Dina's. Hey, you okay. Have any on you actually? Oh, I wish. Eugene always had some on him. It's funny, it wants me to rotate, but I can't... Oh, there. There it sort of is. Not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, baby carrot, I seem to remember... Oh. What the hell? No. Come on. Open the door. Family stream. This... I'm playing The Last of Us. This is not a family stream. You know, the last family stream I ran, you know, Detroit Become Human, I got that particular family killed. Well, I mean, all except one of them. So, you know, I'm not a family streamer. I'm not exactly, I don't, I don't have a particularly clean mouth. I'd like to be clean, but I'm not, ultimately, so. Oh. 
Dina and Eugene all clear. Found wild horse stuck in the ice. Got it out. Take it back to camp. One clicker in the basement. Dead goat by Sunny Day's retirement. Found three runners. Anything interesting going on here? Runners, dead deer. Two adults and one child need medical attention. We'll be skipping the next lookout and taking them straight to town. Okay. Uh, I guess we write our name. Let's see. Back. All clear. Come here. Yep. What's up? Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. Town up ahead? Is that not our town, or is Where's that the town with the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. Oh, okay. So we've got a that's large area. Gonna have some good coverage area. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get back to the horses. Question. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? Uh, they're clean. No judgment. It's patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. Come on. Still look nice. Do you want to come out the door? Thank you. I'll come out the door. I'm supposed to go back? Yeah, there we go. You, Ellie. Oh, for wearing clothes two days in a row. You know, in this particular world, wearing clothes two days in a row does not strike me as much of a primary uh, problem. You know, there, there's bigger problems <laughs> in this particular world. Is that anything? Nope. Okay. I'm suspicious of any vaguely shiny looking... Oops. Sorry, horse. Didn't mean to punch you. I meant to do this. I'm gonna keep my jeans for a few days, not underwear. Well, I mean, Dina couldn't see Ellie's underwear. I mean, who knows what the state... Well, I shouldn't even go there. But yes, wearing the jeans, the outer clothes... An extra day. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No, oh, from old age. Like, oh, somebody actually life. died of old age in this you, game. No way, come on. You're way too reckless. Look who's talking. Well, you'll probably horse handling. In the snow. You know, I think the horse handling is actually better in this game. It's still not as good as Red Dead, but I believe it's definitely better than what I remember in part one. Hey, should we check these houses out? Seems quiet, but... We can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Yeah, I do. I'm I am big on supplies. Do you like the start of this game? Um, it's a pretty slow start so far. I don't know who that Abby do you know about girl place? is, and I'm a little worried. Infected almost never make it out this far. Sorry, got it. Usually catch him on the outer perimeter. Sorry, what are they talking about? Um, what are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for supplies. Thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh, you guys, good. Oh, are you gonna tell us about Joel? Yeah. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper Two. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Uh, Dina, you appear to be stuck. Crazy 80s action movies. He's really into them. 
Oh no. I actually really like them too. What about you? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. You wanna meet up after? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. Oh yeah, it has What's been what? Curtis and Viper too. Okay. <laughs> okay. So two former commandos. Stop talking. I want to. I want to check for supplies. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. All right. So the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja, and he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first oh. movie? Uh, ten. Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. Joel actually saw the last one in the theater. Isn't that crazy? Yes. You think anybody else Well, as humans like to say, third time's the charm, right? Oh, hey, Baby Carrot. Welcome into the stream. What if they're all just like us? Congratulations on third. Day to day. Well, I write new music, so... Someone had a camera. Wait, hold up. There are original Ellie songs? Oh yeah, limited Why edition. Why played any for me? Well, I, I... I don't know. Come on, will you play one for me? Tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. Oh wait. Oh, I think I see there's a second floor up there. It looks like maybe I can mantle up to it. Oh. Sir? Oh, there's one here too. There we go. Okay, now now we're finally getting some stuff. Yeah, Silver, it, it's a pretty slow start. Uh, Joel and Ellie, I have a lot of questions. Um, but I also know those questions are you know going likely going to be answered in the course of the game. Like, why are Joel and Ellie so weird? And you know, who's this Abby person? So. You're saying that was a good boy this year. Can I please have a big dog? I wanted to keep my daddy safe while he goes hunting for food. It could also help protect our house from the monsters. It could also help keep me company when my daddy closes himself in the bedroom. When my daddy closes himself in the bedroom? What the? Here's what she should look like. Exactly that. Can you also get me a gun? Think if I was stronger, my daddy would be happy. Thank you very much. Yeah, baby carrot. We, we've got a mystery on our hands too. And in, in chat, Silver came in and she claimed second, even though first was readily available. She bypassed the first. I believe Dargus came in. I believe Dargus ended up getting first, but he came in a little bit later. Uh, doesn't look like I can do anything there. Or there. For some reason, I thought someone else redeemed it. Nope. It was yours for the taking, Silver. And you blew it. That's all right. I know. Whoa. Somebody with a motorcycle just going by. Oh, pills. Take the pills. So, oh yeah, I picked up this journal. Hey. Oh, Ellie Look keeps a have. journal. Look at, hang on. All right, what, what are you showing me? I, I wanted to read the journal, but. Isn't it one of those superhero cards you're all into? Tesseractor. Appearing one day from out of the blue, no one knows where or when this mysterious transdimensional being came from. Their ability to move in and out in and around four-dimensional space at will has turned the tide in many battles. But using this power leaves them as weak as vulnerable as a newborn. Claiming to have no name, they were bestowed the nickname Tesseractor by the Society of Champions. However, some suspect Tesseractor is keeping their 
true undiscovered identity a secret. And they are neutral. All right. Yep, I can look at that. I want to see. I, I want to see what. No. Um. I want to go back here. I want to read Ellie's journal. I know that sounds weird, but you know. Dina asked if I was going to go to the dance, and she touched my arm. Ah, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship with Dina. Time is crazy. I feel scared, elated, anxious. Got to sleep it off. Presumably talking about the night that she and Dina had had a kiss, but it was kind of sounds like it was kind of a crazy thing. There was a lot of weird stuff going on at the bar that day. I feel like living in a town closed off from the rest of the world would get depressing after a while. Yeah. Um. I mean, I have lived. I lived for a little while in a small town. Eh, Don't I shouldn't fuck say it up was your a... friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Yeah, exactly. I lived for a little while in a small-ish town. It's not nearly as small. At the time, I thought it was a small town. It turns out it was sort of medium, I guess. But yeah, it, it, I could definitely see it getting boring. And then, yeah, not having any access, outside access to go anywhere more interesting. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you want to be comfortable in your in your hometown, but you also you want to be able to get away from it all. What did she say? I have an act for talking right when they all talk. Um, I can't go anywhere there. Oh, we just need to jump this, I guess, huh? Oh, blood. Consumed moose. What the fuck? Ellie likes girls, yeah. Looks like infected did this. How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Well, I mean, as far as we. Hell are they? As far as we know, Ellie, I mean, she might be by, I mean, she was, uh, equipped long gun. Okay. They did say that she had been dating that one guy at the beginning. What's his name? Jesse. Well, no. Yeah. So in the last of us DLC, you know, she, you know, sort of confessed feelings for uh, the other girl and I'm sorry Silver I've already forgotten her name um, you know that they had feelings for each other that didn't work out because you know infection being what it is in this world I'd get a boat and try to find some isolated island or something. not seen a quiet place to thing gets there from the boat Never seen either of them. Riley, yes, that was her name. Thank you. Uh, you know what? If there's creatures around, shit. I hear some inside. Up oh, there he is. There they are. How the did they get in there? More importantly, how do we get in there? Not bad coming from someone who can't, who can't handle creepy shit, and yet keeps hanging out in all of the chats of you know people you playing these you know spooky, Divide and conquer. spooky gory horror movie games. Let's see. Okay, we've got a guy right there. Is he aimed at us? He is not. Can I stealth you? Ellie is now old enough and big enough <laughs> that she can uh, get those guys. One of the little things I always loved in Lasso's Part One was 
Yeah, Joel would, you know, go stealth up on a guy, grab him, hunker him. Control, what are you doing? You know, grab him, you know, strangle him, you know, choke him out. But then you get to play as Ellie, and Ellie's a younger, you know, she's a smaller girl. She would do the same thing. She'd sneak up on a guy, but then when she goes to attack him, she just jumps on his neck and starts flailing around and, you know, stabbing him with the switchblade. And Ellie, do not shoot at nothing, please. I mean, deadly serious, but still, it was always kind of a little bit of a funny visual, at least for me. I mean, I get that it's a desperation thing. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is a hold. Okay. Shit. Yep. You good? Yeah. Bottles finally entered the game. Thanks. Easier to watch you than scary movies. Barricaded. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah, it's a good question. Okay, I want. Oh, there's parts. What's the most infected you've ever taken down on patrol? It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? You? Cleared about 20 once. There was a group passing through. Fuck. Maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. I should check. It's like, I think we're good on everything. Yep. Ellie. More blood. blood on the door, but I can't actually do anything there, it looks like. Hey, look, large format printer. Wait, what? What kind of room even is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a FedEx. This is a shipping room. Like the FedEx Kinkos. Computer stations, large format printer. Okay. <coughs> Our post office, yeah. I think Ellie and Joel models look the same from the first one. There was backlash when this one came out. Does it? Uh, or was there? I mean, they looked. Joel looked pretty spot on. Uh, I mean, he looked like he had a graphical update to him, but he looked pretty spot on. Ellie, I can't really see. I think Ellie looks maybe a little bit different. I think we can get up there. She looks a little closer to how she looks in the part one remake, you know, how they did the thing, you know, they, they made her eyes a little bit larger, I think. She doesn't look too different, but also, oh, well, yeah, window there. Uh, actually, can we go back? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Because, I mean, it's been four years now. Shit. Uh, Dina, can I trust you to get the, the one, the other one over there? I sure hope she does. Okay, she did. Cool. Some people were mad about it. She's grown four years more. You know, a teenager has grown up four more years. She should look exactly the same. <sighs> That's not how biology works. You know, in older years, you know, you get you get to, you know, mid 20s to you know 30s. Yeah, uh, the apparent bodily aging visual slows down a bit to where, yeah, you could reuse the same model. But teenager, no, they're, they're still growing. Runner, Hang on. It's like, yeah, no, she's not going to look the same. Oh, hey there, guy. I almost let you walk right into me.
Oh, and he's got a friend right there, too. That guy is apparently on patrol. Can get a bottle. Oh wait, what's this? Brick. I'll see about getting this guy. And get behind the counter. Indestructible knife hand. Okay, so that was unfortunate, but oh well. Actually, he hit me. He didn't. He didn't hit me for a whole lot. That all of them? Just give her give a rating of Detroit ten out of ten. Honestly, like or I mean, maybe a nine and a half out of ten, but about about as high as you as I would go, honestly. I actually maybe yeah nine and a half out of ten really the my only gripe about Detroit is sometimes the navigation the control navigation against some of the fixed camera angles felt really weird and awkward but that's really the only bad thing I, I can say about it um, I mean yeah I had a bad ending on two of the characters well one of them eh, yeah, yeah. But I'm also very, very well aware that the ending I had is because of the choices I made. You know, and where I messed things up. So I'm, you know, I, I'm i not going to hold that against the game. That's on me. And honestly, it just makes me want to play the game again, you know. It beat your ex it, it went way beyond my expectations. See, honestly, you know, in a way, I enjoyed Detroit a lot more than The Last of Us Part 1 because I had heard so much about The Last of Us, you know, that it was great, universally loved, everybody loved it, everybody thinks it's a great game, that I'm coming into it, it's like, okay, I don't know a whole lot about this. I know it's, you know, there's, you know, this Joel, you know, this older guy is running around with these young girls surviving against zombie apocalypse, you know, that's just what I had heard through internet osmosis and that everybody loved it and thought it was a great game. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, that's a pretty simple setup and I'll play it. I'll probably like it. Detroit. The thing with Detroit is I went in to Detroit really not know, having no idea what I was in for. So, you know, it being such a good game could only make it like really jump up and surprise me the way, the way it did. Whereas, like The Last of Us, I kind of expected it. And I did not expect that of uh, of Detroit that way. I don't know why I'd want to jump up there. I just wanted to try it. North Park was unfortunate, but hilarious. You know, it's funny. I've actually started, I followed another guy uh, at nights, you know, when I don't have a whole lot of uh, streamers that I usually follow. A lot of times, the streamers I follow, they're in the day or in the evening. So I don't have a lot of people that I follow late at night. I started following a guy the other day who's doing his first playthrough of Detroit. And he's pretty funny. He has gotten Connor killed four times now. And he managed to get Connor killed the same way uh, by like having Hank shoot him at that at that river uh the one i don't i don't remember if it was you silver or someone else it's like i've never seen connor die that way it's like well this guy this guy killed him the same way lurking but so happy you're playing okay yeah no problem the guy who he raided no this is this is actually a different guy i am following that guy too uh but no this is a different guy and it, it was it was pretty funny platinum hunter he was fun I, I I did go back and watch Platinum Hunters. Yeah, Platinum Hunter is the guy I raided the first time. I did go back and watch his VOD because I wanted to see... I think we raided him and he was playing... Yeah, he, we had come in on him just at the start of Kara's storyline. So I wanted to see how he was going to tackle Todd. And I was actually very, very surprised. He let Todd live. Uh, or it's not a matter of he let Todd live. He he didn't get the gun so instead you know he 
hit Todd with the lamp, um, which I went to got the gun. So just right there, that was interesting to me. It's like, oh, okay, what happens if you don't get the gun? Oh, well, you still knock him out. Um, so that that was that was pretty cool. But yeah, this other guy I'm following, uh, Tommy something. He uh. He apparently got Connor killed at the very beginning where there's that uh, the hostage on the skyscraper thing. He got Connor killed there, I think. I did not see that. I just heard about it. But then, yeah, he's also got he also got Connor killed at the interrogation, which is where I first got Connor killed. And then he also got Connor killed by Hank, you know, Hank shooting him. And then he also got Connor killed at the crime scene where, at, what was it, Stratford Tower, where they're investigating how Marcus and everybody had, uh, you know, had taken over the, the tower to do the news broadcast. He managed to get Connor killed there, too. And there was a whole big side branching thing there that I didn't even know was there. I was like, oh, wow. And I am, what am I doing here? There's doors here. Exactly sure where I'm going. And he played straight. Oh yeah, I think I did see he was playing stray a little bit the other day. I didn't. Uh, I I don't know that. I... Oh. <laughs> when in doubt, find your find your partner here, and and uh, they'll they'll tell you what to do. Very glad. Apparently, Kara can get killed at Todd's house, and her story just stops. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that if you don't break through the wall and become a deviant, um, I guess you'll just kill her. On the roof over there. Here. I was looking and it's like, well, I mean Thanks. When's so, when's the earliest see? you can get Marcus right. killed? Let's figure out how to get in there. Or when's the earliest you can get all of them killed, honestly? Uh Connor apparently I mean, of course, Connor reses until he becomes a deviant, so you can't kill him until he becomes a deviant. Marcus can apparently only be killed, or the first time you can actually kill him is at the uh, the Freedom March. Um, do you need help? Or we're we going on... No, we're going over here. It's also interesting how Hank pretty much went from hating androids to agreeing with their liberation. That's, you know... Oh, fuck you. Okay. Yep, 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 I'm fighting. Thank you, Dina. Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh yeah, there's a whole story about Ellie being infected oh. that maybe you don't know about. <laughs> but hey, there's a door here. Maybe there's stuff. Some parts. Yeah, that's actually... <sighs> Hank was honestly really surprising with me. Um, in that... In the end, it's like he wants he wanted connor to be showing emotion and everything that seemed to be whenever i whenever i scored points with hank it's because i wasn't being logical or rational it's because i was being emotional sure. and hank seemed to like that i was like oh okay that's not actually what i would have expected and i never did get to learn what hank's actual deal with androids is it felt like he had a very personal beef with them, but I never found out found out what that personal beef was. Okay, there's a truck there. Is there anything to pick up? You see the home screen girl at the end of the game? You get to choose her fate after the credits. Oh, no, I didn't. I did not. Actually, yeah. Nice. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play the game again now. Damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's easier to read this. Ma'am, I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't 
I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have you? My little sister stopped feeling her feet. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding the stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, Ellie, do you have a health kit? Ellie does not have a health kit. Alright, follow friend. Can we get up there? Dina, where are you looking? You can't do anything there. I think I missed something in here. anything in there beyond a bunch of boxes. Can we do anything here? Oh, there it is. I forgot run, run and jump and grab is now a thing. In. Let's see. Let's see, it's six o'clock. I think I'm gonna go another 40, 45 minutes or so. And then raid out. Honestly, I'm probably gonna raid Pierogi. <laughs> She'll wanna know. Yes, I'm finally playing. Hey, got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here. I'm still, I'm still in the tutorial. It's like, oh, it's going to teach me how to craft. Yes, I know how to craft. Yep. It is good timing, though, because I am a bit low. You think you'd stream another Detroit playthrough or just play on your own? <sighs> that is an excellent question. Up oh, spores. See, my thing is, I've got so many other games that I want to play, it's like, you know, and play on stream. Like, I've got God of War, I've got the Uncharted games, I've got uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, and I've got Dark Souls games. I've got so many games that I want to play on stream. I do want to play Detroit again, for sure. What I might do is I might do another Detroit playthrough, like maybe just on my own while I'm going through some of these other games, and then come back to Detroit. Because current, I only have Detroit for a limited time because I got it as part of, I got it for free. Well, free. It came, it was free on the PlayStation Plus store. And I happened to have a subscription to the PlayStation Plus store from when I got the PS5. But once that subscription runs out, I will no longer have access to it. So I have Detroit Become Human until next... When did I get the PS5? I think March? April or March. So, you know, at which point I could still have it. I would just need to start paying, uh, paying for it to be able to play it again. Which, I mean, maybe I will. I don't, I don't know. It depends, you know, what else is going on. I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. But yes, on, on the next playthrough with Kara, I we'll will make sure Keep your eyes to steal the bus tickets. <laughs> yep. Is this part of the supermarket? I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. See, oh, yep, there's more parts. Okay, Dina, where there there you are. Is there anything? I think that's everything in this room. Oh, yep, there's a 
you know, I should probably do a sound check. Honestly, when I was playing The Last of Us Part 1 and I went from hard to Survivor, I did an, I did an offline playthrough on Survivor just for myself, just because I wanted to play it again. And losing the sonar vision, that was the biggest thing it felt like. I mean, yeah, resources were a lot more or a lot less available, but really not having the not being able to detect where enemies are was huge. Oh, there's a safe, which I do not currently have a combo for. Unless there is one available here. Found it very interesting since your story had so many differences from mine. The ending especially. So actually, Silver, uh, feel I have completed Detroit and I'm no longer averse, particularly to spoilers. I mean, feel free to mention how yours went. I mean, maybe don't go super spoiler, but like what happened to your Connor? What happened to your Marcus? What happened to your, to your Kara? Kara's story can go very south. <laughs> Left the real estate. Shit in the safe for a combo is the date my good boy got employee of the month. Don't sell those, give them away, they're for your pack. The date his kid got employee of the month. Okay, is there. Do I have anything to look at that would give me that? Oh, what's, what's over here? Not more ammo. Mine wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, I take it you lost your car then. Um, I mean, in mine, I lost. Ev I lost. I kept Kara, but lost everyone else that she cared about. Which honestly, I was actually a little surprised that. You know, they were okay with like, yeah, we'll, we'll kill Alice. I'm like, really? It always surprises me a little bit when they, you know, kill kids in video games. I mean, I suppose it should, and it's a, it's a real world thing that can happen. Oh, what's this? Is that? What was that? Good boy combo, that's... Yeah, that's that same one. I seem to remember seeing somewhere there was like some law about depictions of child death, you know, in media. I don't remember the exact details of it. If it was, I don't think it's a federal thing. I think maybe it's a statewide thing. Lost her in a terrible, terrible way at the end. It was actually really disturbing. Oh. Had to repeat the whole chapter. Okay, yeah, you, you don't have to go too graphic disturbing with it. Uh, but I'm sorry you lost her in such a way. I suppose it does make me feel slightly better that it's like, well, at least at least my car is alive. She may have lost her will to live. Oh shit. Things are happening. And I, oh yeah, push buttons. Clicker. Ah, uh, yeah. One thing I loved playing is Ellie in the first one. Her indestructible switchblade. Hang on. Got this guy there. I want to know where the other one is. Okay. Alright, where is 
the other one. The other one's gone around. It's gonna turn around. Oh wait, is it? Like, behind? Oh, there it is, okay. noise. I'm gonna try it. Apparently not. I mean, apparently, yes, I can, and it works. Apparently it does not make enough too much noise. And hey, found thing. Those blind motherfuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Speak in my language. Make sure nothing interesting on shelves. One thing I do appreciate in, in the original game, and I guess they do it here too, is once you once you kill the last guy, they'll there's a cue. Dina, will help. They'll actually say, "Okay, yeah, that's the last one," and then you can sort of relax. It's like, okay. Okay, we got somebody very faintly Thank over there. I'll take a present. Oh, we must have a workbench here. Ellie. Oh, Molotov. Yeah, I'll take that. Yes, take it. Here. Thanks. Careful with that. I'm a pro. We're not Alta done. Rust be unlocked. Actually, not a workbench. Just, uh... Hang on. Listen mode movement speed. Move faster in listen mode. Okay. Faster health kit. Maximum health. Yep. Endure. Okay. That might be good. More health and endure. Probably going to be wanted. Yep, there's this one, and there's another one right there. Waiting for that first one to go far enough away. Oh shit, he's over there, hopefully. Okay. Okay, move faster in listen mode might be a good thing, although honestly... Okay, so there's two clickers, there's a runner on the outside, and we've got some more guys over this way. Who's this one? How's the hard difficulty? It's alright so far. I mean, I'm doing a little bit of, you know, getting my controls back, because it's been a little bit since I've played. But so far, it's not bad. He says. This can easily go bad. Hopefully, there's... No clickers nearby, because I didn't check. 
I mean, honestly, being able to use the, uh, the vision... Oh. Oh shit. No, I didn't want to do that, and I just lost my brick too. Damn it. What I was going to do was toss, and I've done it before, is toss a brick. Toss a brick, draw them to one. Oh shit! Alright. Oh shit. No! <laughs> Run! <laughs> and that Molotov just went. Okay, we, sh we shoot. Him. Oh, pick her behind me. Toss a brick to your zombie. No, what I've done in the past, which is nice, is like I'll toss a brick out and it draws the clickers to one area and then throw a Molotov on them and get them all at once. Okay, I have my brick back. I died, but I have my brick back. That makes me happy. Well, that got those two. Oh shit, they're running. That clicker is on fire. That clicker is on fire. Why is it still running? It should be burning itself to death. Fine. Take a bullet. <laughs> that almost... Well, that almost worked exactly the way I wanted it, but... I suppose losing a brick, a Molotov, and one bullet is not all that bad. Okay. Oops, hang on. Let's go to the next lookout and take a oh. break. We earned it. So I don't get how people can permadeath this game and be so stressed and anxious. Yeah, oh, hey. Do you see a way out? Ammo. I mean, I get it. It's an interesting thing. It's like, yeah, how far in the game would I get before I die? The thing is, is I could probably tell you, like in the first one, the first place, the first potential place for trouble for me is when you're with Tess and Ellie and you're sneaking through, was it the mall? Is it like a mall or something? Um and you have to like get to a drugstore or something. That one has been tricky for me in the past. Then after that, probably when you're with Henry and you've got the assault, you know, there's that one room and you just have a horde of zombies coming at you. It's like, I, I would die there. That, that one takes a couple of tries for me. Hey Dina, can I get a hand? I won't budge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Um, that's quite a hurl. Oh, what's this? Cable here. I would die at David and Ellie part in the room. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 the, the, the horde mode siege room is definitely a thing. Get over. Right, let's see. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Want me to try? <laughs> I guess over. up and over. Makes sense. Yeah, the Dave the David horde section I think is the hardest the hardest part overall of the game. Fuck yeah. All right, Dina, you get on that. That's good. Here I go. And the part where you're stealth, yeah, that. Oh, I guess I don't need to hold it down because it's weighed down by that. Makes sense. Yeah, that part is. Careful when you get up here. It's pretty windy. 
tricky. Although, you know, want to know a funny story about that one? I think when I played that the first time, again, I was playing on normal difficulty. That would have been the place to be using the sonar, you know, x-ray vision thing. And I think I completely spaced out <laughs> on using it in that one part where it would have been most useful. Ellie died many times because of that. And I think I remembered right afterwards, like, oh shit, I should have been doing that. I say I'm following her as I take the lead. Yeah, and those death those death scenes were really really graphic. I thought we'd just see him. I mean, it's like Ellie dying. Yeah, okay, I get that. I figured you'd just see him, like, raise the machete or something and then cut to black. Like, no, there's some of those where it shows you the whole thing. It's like, whoa. This is getting worse. Turn back. We won't make it. I think the one I remember the most was Ellie getting stabbed through the back, you know, and having it coming out of her chest. It's like, jeez. It feels like they really relish the, uh, you know, <laughs> that stuff. Uh, of course. I've yet to see if it's the same on the remake, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. I think I was watching somebody... Somebody stream it, and yeah, I, I saw one of those. Go inside, horse goes inside. Ah. AC off now, it's actually getting too cold. I'll get the door. Also, I have better microphone than I used to, but you know, sometimes the AC it does still pick up a little bit on the uh, road by it on the microphone. Never came inside. All right, let's make sure it's clear. Well, this room is probably okay, because if there were any bads in here, they would have heard the horses. What I want to do is check for supplies, because that's always a issue. Although it doesn't look like... I mean, this is what, a library it looks like? Probably not going to be too much. Oh yeah, that's actually another dangerous spot is in part one is the library. I mean it doesn't have any like Shit. I gotta see what's back there. Elite bosses or anything, feel but like anyone's been here in a while. The pathing on the enemies can be really uh tricky. Seems like Can't lock a window. break glass with bricks. Oh okay. Oh wait, can I get... Oh no, there, there's a case there. All right, that one. Parts. What's going on here? One with the hunters, yeah. Is it, uh, what, Pittsburgh? Oh, this looks like a workbench. All this electronic stuff? This has to be Eugene's. Are you sure? Yeah, no, nobody else would I take over this shit. But why would he hide it from me? Part where you fall down from the elevator, yeah, that part. There, there's, there's a lot of places that would be, uh, that would be bad news in a permadeath oh. situation. Oh. Eugene Linden. Eugene's place. Firefly. Firefly. He served with Tommy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Tommy was a firefly. I had no Originally. Idea. Yeah. They got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers, and two civilians. 
Jesus. He also told me that he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that, though. He could do worse. What do you mean? He and Joel Hang on. did a lot to survive after the outbreak. What did she write? Oh, she's just drawing. Eugene was in touch with other fireflies. Did he hear about me and Joel? No, he would have said something. Oh, maybe a little bit of intrigue. Yeah, and a giraffe. Got a room back here. Oh, it's another collectible. I have, yeah, I do have a bottle, okay. Make sure I've always got a bottle with me, a bottle or a brick. Oh, hey! PlayStation 3, let's see, we've got Uncharted 2. I don't recognize that other one. And then there's one underneath I can't quite see. And a bean bag. Living the life. No. Oh my um. God. It's Tommy and Eugene. They look like babies here. Hang on. I say that's Tommy. The other guy must be Eugene looking very. Peters. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Haggard. Let's see. Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. The Fireflies want to save the world. I say let them. Left his family let to him. join the Fireflies. Harsh. Let them go out. <laughs> they keep talking over. Let them develop a vaccine to man save mankind. Maybe one day we'll live to see the fruits of their fantasies. Until then, I have to put our daughter first. Fireflies will be fine without you. Your daughter won't. She keeps asking me when you're coming home. Can't lie to her anymore. I miss you, but I don't know how much more of this I can take. Please come home, Claire. Okay, so Eugene was apparently was involved, or at least knew of the plans to make a vaccine. Hey, found the generator. Okay, generator. I keep finding these very workbench looking things, but can't actually use them. Okay, now I can use the workbench. I bet you could mod your gun with this gear. All right, let's see. Honestly, in general, capacity is big with me. So I don't have to waste time reloading. Yeah, this will work. Good job with that. Can't get in there without some bolt cutters. Oh, oh there's hello. a heater. Ellie, look at the floor. There's more stuff down there. You see a way down? Uh, not here. Let's see, way down. You know, here. I don't have anything to drop. 
I doubt that it's back. Oh, that's an ar ooh, that's an arena in there. Or no, wait, that's the way we came. That's that's the back side of the library. Look for something that might lead down. Dina, you keep walking right into me. Oh, well, here's something. Come on. Stairs. What's he got down here? Well, it's obviously a sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He was so lonely, man. I mean... Could be. You never know. <laughs> oh my god. It's weed. That's a lot of dead weed. And the town was supplied for the rest of the year. Oh. Hey. He's got that videotape thing. Huh. Dong of the Wolf. <laughs> Smash Brandy Scooch. Are these? It's porn. <laughs> Interesting taste, Eugene. Ellie, you've seen porn. Don't lie. Maria would lose her shit if she saw this place. How'd he get this together? Must have taken him forever. I wish he'd told me about this. Could have helped him out. Dina. A built-in bong gas mask. Bong. Oh, God, he was so smart. <laughs> Ahead of his time. It's a shame this guy is dead. It feels like he'd be a character to meet. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a flashback and meet him, but... I have my doubts. Uh. Oh, he's just like, I'll just put these in my back pocket. Oh, there we go. You think it's still good? Does weed go bad? Hmm. Let's find out. You having a hard time? No, I got it. <sighs> Fuck. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Like you're gonna get it. <sighs> okay. It's... Do you have yeah. a rag? You wrap it around the top. <sighs> Fuck it. I say, short of that, you can just break it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? <sighs> this smells good. I mean, when we struck here a while, right? Not to be the pot prude here, but I'm like, every time I've smelled it, because I live in Oregon, so we, you know, smell quite a bit. It all just smells like skunk to me. Can I ask you a question? I eat not good. I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Why are 
are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Because girls got hopes. Did I say that? What are you doing? I asked you to rate our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people around. Yeah, but six. Oh. What? Don't well, and it sounds like it was a weird it. situation, too. You know? I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. No one is stopping you. This better be better than a six. Careful. That, that was lit, and there's a lot of dry leaves around. I mean, kids, do what you want to do, but don't set the place on fire. <laughs> it's just what? Just throw a lit cigarette. There's all those dried leaves around. Safety first. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm in danger. danger. They're in danger. Oh, now we're back is this girl, Abby. Where are they? Um, I've already... I was going so slow as Abby, I forgot... I've forgotten where she even is. She does not look happy, though. Quite a transition. Oh, baby carrot doing the, doing the stuff, all right. All right. So, let's see. Stretch. <clears throat> and posture. So, yeah, let's see, it's 640. Uh, I've got, you know, maybe 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. Let's see. Great. Infected. If we get any farther with her story. We, if I get any answers as to who she is or what she wants. Oh, was there another one? Oh, holy crap. Um, shit. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Um, okay, not there. Not there. Let's see. Hmm. Can I slide? Yes. Slide. So I need to go run a maze, it looks like. There's lights over here. Can I get up? Shit. Okay, they're all behind there. Oh shit. Uh... 
No, 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 don't do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. No, 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 no. God damn, I'm pushing all the buttons. No. Oh, man. Okay, well, at least I know where I'm supposed to run to. And it looks like I only get the four guys in here, so now I know. All right, I have nothing but bullets. version. Okay, that time it worked. Oh! <laughs> that time it worked. Dead. You know what? I need I need to just thin out the herd a little bit, so I'm just going to shoot this first guy. bullets than I like, but... Oh, that's right. I wonder... I suppose I could have just... run through that, uh... Just, just checking for everyone. stuff. Come back with a cleanup crew. We gotta live through this first. Watch them windows. Oh, I. We're about to have some. God damn it! Some oh, bitches are everywhere. Gotta move. I'll just let them do it all. No, 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 no. taking a, the crowbars a little bit better. I would think crowbar would be more durable than pipe. That's our way out. 
see a way up there. Here, use this. Hey, go! Yep. Oh, over here, all right. Push it up onto the cart. We're getting inside. I'll get the gondola to the window. You two keep those infected off of me. Look out! Oh shit! Where did you come from? All right. Oh shit, that was wrong. shot for the clicker. And I have no... Just need another minute! Damn it. I see there's another pipe here. I'd love to have a minute to heal. We haven't seen hordes of the infected like this. We didn't see hordes of them like that in part one. What about this one? When I was 12, I found a skateboard. Uh oh. And I tried to get on it. And it shot right out from underneath me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get the scar? I fell on my knife. <laughs> Burn. 
I doubt myself. Oh, is that what you're calling it? Why? Uh... To cover a bite mark? Right here? I got jumped by an infected when I was 14. And... Turns out I'm immune, so it healed with a ring of fucked up teeth marks and cysts and... Ow! Fuck you. Uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story! Oh, you want a bite mark? Do you hear that? Jesse? <sighs> just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, on? please? What? Just turn around! What are you doing? Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be on patrol. There's a blizzard outside. Is that weird? We're patrolling. Why are you here? Each other. We're counting on you. You get that? What we do matters. Well, then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. What do you mean? We waited for them for an hour. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town without being replaced. No way. How much of their region have you covered? Not much. Then we split up. Go at it from different sides. And we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? Okay, I'll head west. Dina can take south and you come from the east, but be smart about it, yeah? Saddles off? No, no, it's all right. We'll just ride out the storm and we'll get out of here. You don't got any brushes or a towel or anything? You are nothing but lucky. And you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. And who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. yesterday? She's doing, yeah, she's doing a lot of funny looks at Joel. We're doing that this way. So I'm not already not really liking that. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before we head out. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, by the way. Tommy. This is my brother. Joe. Okay, a lot of funny looks now. Like like you heard of us or something. Because they have. Laura, all clear? He's out. Put him against the wall. Tommy! Get off me! Get off me! Joel, 
Miller. Who are you? Guess. Gonna need a bit more information. Fireflies? Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Turn to his leg. Do it. That's not really going to save the leg. You don't get to rush this. Oh, now Ellie. Joel! Tommy! So it's looking like the first bit that I mentioned in my spoilers bit is likely true. And this is a hell of a place to stop stream. <laughs> Irony and John, Tommy and Joel save, saving are though. Yep. Yep. Amorphous wears ninja mask, sneaks behind baby carrot, places his napkin with formaldehyde on his nose to make pass out, then goes and steals our salad from the kitchen and her fridge, and drags her, drags her into Shinobi's Discord, too, I imagine. Welcome in, Amorphous. What did you do? <laughs> oh, man. So it's like the story was going like so slow. You know, there's all these new characters trying to figure out what's going on, who's doing what and everything. And I'm like, eh, OK. And yeah, it just woke me up just at the exact moment that I need to shut down stream, <laughs> like literally. Uh, yeah, I, I got I got to go, and it's just about time for dinner uh, for us. But anyway, think you know. Hang on, is the game saved? Well, the game auto saves, so yeah, I guess that's it. Ending of this stream may have the same feeling as Detroit did. Well, not quite so much. A again, as I mentioned before, in Detroit, I had the option of saving or that stuff was within my control in theory this one i had no control it's you know it's all pre-scripted so you did nothing i'm in a particular mood so yeah uh okay well that this serves as an introduction to the last of us too joel is in dire need of help if he's not already dead at, at this point um, I'm going to be back and on Saturday and I'll, I'll be able to play for about five hours then. Um, so, so far, Abby's not made a very good impression on me, but also I know it's because, you know, we've had a bit of a personal connection to Joel. So we've, I've, I keep see the only bit that I know of Abby, A, I didn't know it was her that we were talking about is Every now and then, Pierogi will say something in stream. Oh, Abby. Oh, yeah, she's a baddie. You know, and I'm like, okay, I figure it was just some random new character. Turns out she's not a random new character. Turns out she's a, a, a bit of a key character. <laughs> so with that in mind, actually, I am going to raid Pierogi just so we can see her squeal. Uh that I've been playing The Last of Us, part two. 
Because she's, she's been bugging me about this for a little while, too. Not getting much from that right now. Right, right now, I'm like, no, Abby's kind of a bitch. I mean, she shot out Joel's knee. Now, at the same time, I know there's a lot more to the story. I, this is like a 30-hour thing, so... And if what I mentioned in the other part of the stream, or the spoilers, is correct, you know, we might get to see some justification and everything. I don't know for sure. I'm guessing that she's a Firefly, and they might still be a little pissed off over Joel depriving them of Ellie uh, at the end of part one. That is my guess. I don't have anything to base that off of, so... Thanks for the stream. Best have an open mind and let it play out. Yeah, well, we we shall see what happens. But anyway, thanks everyone for hanging out. I'm gonna put up. Where's my in stream thing? Of smell -a -vision. I'm gonna put up not a real thing, that for a little bit, and I'm gonna start a raid of pierogi. And oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I? I yeah, I, that was exactly it, Silver. Do I have raid messages? Uh, I think I sort of do, although I don't know. I, I don't did. know if this command works. Oh, I haven't tested it. Shit. Okay, uh, so hang on. It, it's a little. It's a little messy. So let's 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 do this. Right. If you are subscribed, use that one. If you are not, so I've said it a couple of times in stream. I don't think of myself. Use this one. A, yeah, it doesn't guy, print out the, so far, the one. Butt spot, the get out of the way. Damn it. <laughs> well, hope, hopefully you guys are able to copy that. Uh, I'm going to start up the raid again here. Finally a raid. Oh, that's right, Silver. You, you got a... I think you got... Uh, actually, hang on. Wait a minute. Okay. Hopefully. Oh no, Silver, you resubscribed earlier. Yeah, I thank you again for that, by the way. Uh, uh, I'm anyway, I'm going to. Yeah, I, I'm really bad about remembering the raid messages, so we'll so we'll see. Thank thank you for the sub there, there, Silver. And I'm going to start up this raid. I, I keep forgetting when you start a raid, it's got a countdown. Oh, whoa, it's going a lot faster. I think Sean now than it used to. Cents the other day. Actually, hang on. I also need to get over to her stream. I mean, I put in hundreds of dollars, but, you know. Sean, could you read 38 cents? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm pushing buttons. I'm waiting, waiting for progress bars. All right. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, no problem. And like I said, I'll be back on Saturday to knock out uh, another chunk of this. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out, and I will see you later. And well, everyone like wave hi to Pierogi. There from Hank, but it was pretty awesome. This reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> oh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Um, hanging on every word. Well, what I got out of that is that you're on Pablo Escobar's shit list, and I'm running around with you, so, you know. She's on our side. I am Captain Crotch Shot. That should be my new, my new Twitch... My new Twitch name. Hello. <laughs> Is this a dick shooter extraordinaire? Uh, there's not. There's not so much uh, dick shooting in the in this in this game, as it turns out. That's right. I do keep forgetting about the control thing. I feel like I should provide a little bit of context for that. But I almost wonder if it's more fun just leaving it, you know, as just as is without explaining it. Alright. That's not that's not the end of it though. That was too easy. Or was it?
That was actually it. That was like the entire level. Just isn't enough. 